to, uh, to Clayton's acquittal. Laurel, you know I'm trying to do the best I can for my stepfather. I'm glad you are, Mr. Ewing. <laughs> J.R., please. You totally confuse me. On the one hand, you've been so crude to me. And then on the other hand, I can see that you really do want to help Clayton. Of course I do. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah. Do you have any way to stop Brett Lomax from finding me? Consider it done. Well, I'd really like to be alone now. I'm exhausted. Oh, of course. You get some rest. Oh, uh, I forgot to tell you, I'm having a man guard the door to keep the reporters out, of course. Who is it? J.R. Good morning. Hello. Did you sleep well? No, I keep thinking Clayton's trial's getting closer and closer. What if I could get him off the hook? You're not kidding me. No. You remember Harry McSween? Yeah, how could I forget? <laughs> well, now, don't be too hard on the good sergeant. After all, he found two witnesses that saw the real killer. The real killer? Who? A friend of yours. Brett Lomax. Brett? Shilton was unconscious when Clayton left. Lomax was waiting. He saw Clayton go out, and then Lomax went into Shilton's apartment. suffocated Shulton, figuring Clayton would be blamed for it. And that way, he got rid of the two people who stood in his way. I can't believe it. J.R., I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful to you. <laughs> well, Clayton's not free yet. But you said... I know what I said. But Harry's holding Lomax at the airport. One call for me, and he'll bring him in. I mean, the man confessed. It's an open and shut case. So call him. What are you waiting for? You. You see, if Harry doesn't get a call from me, he's going to put Lomax on a nonstop plane to London. So, in essence, Clayton's fate is in your hands. Oh, well, now the payoff. Sex in return for freeing Clayton. Well, that's kind of crude. You might find it a rewarding experience. You bastard. I could go worse. Don't touch me. I can't stand you. Come on, darling. You care for Clayton a lot more than you despise me. I don't believe this. Believe it. Hello, everybody. Have I got some great news? You gonna tell us now, Daddy? Yeah. Don't send us upstairs so we can't hear. I wouldn't dream of it, Christopher. Clayton, you are a free man. What are you talking about? Well, I used all the political clout I have with the police department, had them retrace their steps. They, uh, they picked up a man named Brett Lomax. Lomax? Yeah. He was seen near the murdered man's apartment just after you left. Um, apparently, he finished what you started. But at any rate, he made a full confession. You're off the hook. Gee, I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to. My only motive was to keep this family together, and especially to make my mama happy. J.R., sometimes you are truly remarkable. <laughs> well, Mama, you have no idea what getting Clayton off the hook meant to me. <laughs> 